our fruit right now. Amen. I can thank God for another opportunity to be among this uh, congregation. Amen. And thanks to parents for sending them out or bringing them out to Sunday school. And we hope that you continue to bring them out so that they can study more about God's words. Amen. 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 Teachers have got the attendance certificate. They'll be given at the end of the program. Give them out while they Alright, every child will get, a, get an award tonight. Amen? Amen. And I think it'll be some C A N D Y too, right? Alright. Okay. Amen. But I trust the kids can stay. Okay. I know that. Alright. Okay, then that being the case, then we'll ask our next set of teachers to come forward, our primary teachers, Sister Woodard and Sister Ida Harris. Now all of the primaries will stand. Hello, everybody. I just want to briefly tell you that um, I think we have a, a, a very beautiful, magnificent class. We have at least 14 on the roll, and we have about four brand new students with us. Uh, our class motto is, if anything too hard for God. And our main goal is to teach the kids how to begin with the Bible, of using the, the Bible. And they must learn that before they leave us. And also, uh, if they come up regularly, they have other stories. And the stories are helping get them rich inside, knowing what they do is our for life. But one little story, I'll tell you right quickly, not long, one of the little boys just came up here today. He's one of our new students. And he's a brave character, very brave to come aboard the rainbow while knowing that his father is going to see these series. But he held up like a little champ, and I thank him for it, for being with us and sticking with us. And I really don't want to see him to leave. I don't want him to go. I don't want him to stay. But in the meantime, I had a hot, good time with him. And all the rest of the kids in the class, they are all brave. Let me tell you, they are brave. And I'm going to leave here saying this. We had a little baby among our brain bowls, and she couldn't even read. And uh, but she hung in there with the rest of them, so I think she's brave also. Amen. Um, these kids hold everything you say very dearly, and that's why I pray to ask God to let me lead them and guide them and tell them the right thing. Amen. If I can't tell them the right thing, I'd rather not be nowhere around them. Amen. But this year has been a very trying year, but I, Lord carried me through. And I hope I can make it through the end of this session, if God's willing. Yes. I thank you. Bless you, Mom. All right, Sister Ann, Sister Jackie, Sister Marianne Woodard, Sister Ida Harris, special blessings upon the four of you as you're working with our younger, younger group. So bless you, Sister Marianne. Bless you, Sister Harris. Thank you so much. And at this point, then we shall call upon our junior teachers, Sister Cassandra Boone, and Brother Jeff Mack. The two of you will come forward. All of our juniors, we're asking you to stand. You know who you are. Stand and right. Amen. 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 Good evening, church. Um, just as Sister Ann said, or Sister Jackie said, the church school has been very fruitful this year. Um, at some time period, it seems as if we had close to 18 in our summer school class. And that is very fruitful. That's good. That's good. We're going to keep praying that our fruit continue to grow. Um, in our summer school class this year, we've had a lot of interesting topics to the point that we had people to play at certain areas of the lessons that we went over. They were very interesting. The kids learned from that. And every time or every Sunday, we'll come back and we go back and forth on the lesson that we covered, and then we would go back and say, well, we covered this last Sunday, this is gonna play into what we did the Sunday before. So I'm just thankful to have all the students that we've had, and I'm sorry to see some of them go, but just know that, as we say, you're growing in faith, you're growing in the words, so you're going on higher and higher. Um, this year has been a little bit challenging for, for me as well. I was here assisting Sister Boone in teaching Sunday school, and it has been a, 
a privilege. It's been quite exciting for me. I've had my daughter in class, I've gotten a son in class, and uh, some of the discussions that we've had after class have benefited going into lessons for the next Sunday and so forth. Um, I just wanted to, to mention to all the kids here that I've enjoyed teaching you this year. I look forward to teaching you next year. I'm going to be losing my daughter, but my son will still be there. Amen. Um, additionally, I know we've touched on some interesting topics as, as well. Uh, the kids have actually made me think quite a bit about the Bible and about the uh, history of the Bible and so forth. So as long as they teach me and I'm able to teach them, I think we'll continue to have a wonderful Sunday school. You're good. Thank you. Jeff, special blessings upon you. Thank you for my brother and sister for working with our Jews. As it stands at this point, then we'll have Sister Pam Wilson and Sister Shalandra Jones. If you come with the intermediates, all the way intermediate students, you know who you are. Stand as we bless you. Good evening, church. Good evening. To God be the glory. Good evening. Would I have our intermediate class to please stand? We have one other student. Would you please stand? Thank you very much. Our intermediate class, we always focus on leaning toward God first in all that we do and not our own understanding and to develop a personal and good relationship with God. I always gave you the example of, you may know my name, but you don't know anything about me until you get to know me. So we always emphasize for our children to get to know the Lord for yourself and also study the Word of God and also pray is very important. And they know the three times of the day that they need to pray, morning, noon, and night, and also without ceasing. And all understanding in all situations, we know God is there for them. We have two very quiet spirits in the class, and I'm sure they know who they are. They probably saying, "Oh my God!" Um, one is being promoted. She is a wonderful young lady. She never gives us a bit of problems or situation. She's looking at Denise and saying, she's talking about you or she's talking about me. So I just, I didn't want to call her out, but I want to emphasize um, Jackie Packer because she's being promoted and it was an honor to be in her life and to be a spiritual guide for her. And I expect great things. Also, Xavier, I've seen him grow and develop and he is very challenging. Both of them are challenging. They kind of go at each other to answer the question first and to correct each other. So in all of that, it has been a blessing, truly a blessing, that God has put in my heart and has ordained me to work with these young people. And we will continue to grow in love for God. And they know wherever we see them, we can always give them an eye, give them a smile, so they know what to do and how to do it. We are proud of you, and God bless you. Good evening, church. Good evening. I only been to Sunday school teacher for quite a short time, but Jackie and Xavier have been teaching me stuff more so than teaching them. They've opened up a lot and we share things together and we talk. So, and I know, like Pam said, that they're very quiet, but they have opened up. And I think both of their spirits are in the right place. And I always tell them to make sure when you go and when you leave that, tell me what I emphasized on and you carry that in your heart. Because I try to teach them that you always have to think about God first and put Him first no matter what you do, whether you're in school, you're at church, you're out playing, whatever, always put God first. And they tell me the same thing. So I'm going to miss Jackie so much, but I know the next kids that are coming in are going to get the same kind of treatment she got, teaching about God. Thank Thanks you. Amen. Come on, church, say amen. Amen. Thank you for being intermediate. Sister Pam, blessings upon you. Sister Shalanga, blessings upon you. And then now we'll have our seniors to come forward. Sister Linda Pinkney, Brother George Irvin. 
you all will come and we'll ask any seniors that are present to stand. Seniors are standing. Good evening and to God be the glory. I just want to tell you it has been an awesome year being a Sunday school teacher and teaching these young people. They are extremely bright and they continue to expand my dimensions and my horizon. I really did not want to be a church school teacher because I absolutely love receiving. I, I love church school, I love learning. But this opportunity that has been given me is, I just cherish it, I honor it, and I absolutely love it. And I wanna thank each of you for allowing me to be your teacher and for coming on, on, on Sunday. It, it, it has been an amazing experience. And I am like Sh um, Shalonda Jones is that I learn as much from you as you learn from me. And I also want to thank New Creation, who is mentoring the senior class and who also comes in and teach on the fourth Sunday. It is so interesting because they are absolutely wonderful because they get my perspective, Brother George's perspective, who is and who always have a different dimension. So it's wonderful to team teach with him. I just praise God for him. And then on top of that, they get on the fourth Sunday, they get the New Creation perspective. And sometimes I, I stand around and I listen, but oftentimes new creation is say, um, Sister Peggy, you know I really got this. I really have studied, so you can go on to your class. But I, I, sometimes I just walk outside because I like to hear the interactions and just to see how they respond. And also, I just want to tell Sister Pam that I love it when we combine our class, and I'm so excited to have Sister Jackie coming to my class because she is not quiet in my class, not at all. So I don't know what's going on. I know Brother Packer always have to walk by my class and ring the doorbell, but that's because we are so excited about the Lord. We are so excited about learning his principles and about applying them to our real life. Because when we study, oftentimes they see the word in the, in the Bible and we read about what somebody else has experienced, but we also talk about what have you experienced? What have you seen? What do you know that is true? Because we have to start with that foundation of knowing that the word is true. It never contradicts itself. And it is always a right time word. Whether it's the Old Testament or the New Testament. Or whether it's yesterday, today, or tomorrow. It's still a right time word and a real word. So I praise God for you. And I thank you guys for this great opportunity. And I'm so glad that Brother Smiley and Brother Packer talked me into teaching this class. God bless. I am glad to be here. This is both glad and happy to be a part of this church school. I have learned so much from sharing uh, the opportunity to teach with uh, Sister Pinky. Uh, thank you, Brother Smiley and Brother Packer. God bless you. Amen. Cameras, our young adult class. I guess uh, what I have to say about the young adults is that I'm very proud of them. Uh, I'm very proud of what they know about the Lord and how they apply it to their life and how they actually understand the Word. And during our Sunday school class, we have discussions and they they reminisce as well from their primary to their junior to their senior and they talk about what they learned about the word and what we're discussing during the present day. So I'm very proud of them and I appreciate them and I'm glad that you as young adults see it not robbery to take the time, you could be somewhere else, but you take the time to come to Sunday school and study the Word of God and apply it in your life. So I'm very proud of you. Good evening. 
Before we get into what we really came for, just a little bit of update and housekeeping. You may have found an insert inside the program concerning the children of church. That's a growing enterprise. It's going to be a great ministry. Amen. We thank the pastor for pushing that on us. We love it now. We somewhat push that on us. I want it now. I want it now. Oh boy. Okay. But anyway, you know, great things come in all matters. Being serious. One other thing, just a note that the children church as of August the 19th will go every Sunday. So it'll start to be in effect every Sunday. So parents and guardians alike make that note. It's not now, there is a time in need for teachers and get things straight. But starting August 19th, the children church will operate every Sunday. And that should be a great thing for all of us. Amen? Amen. One other thing is that for those who those who will be promoted tonight, let's make sure we're not confused. The actual transition from one class to the other will not start until 1 September in the, children, in the church school. So make sure we know that and parents know we would not have lost our minds saying we're promoting them on July 13th but why they're still going to the same class. It's a formality and as of September the 1st, they will change classes. So that should be okay. At this time, I ask the pastor and Brother Smiley to come up because it's time to present some awards. Amen. Amen. The first thing on the board is the academic achievements. Now, the church school is a busy organization. We don't just monitor their spiritual growth, which is most important. We do look at their academic standing, what they do, how they do it, and the attitude which is very important, and that's my job. I talk to them a lot, I know you see me engaging them, because you have to know the full story. Not just the grade, you have to find out. And what we have tonight in our academic center, we have the bronze category, the silver, and the gold. Starting with the bronze, you may say, oh, that's so No, all of these students are winners. Amen. And tonight I'd like to speak to that the bronze category really represents students who have really shown a lot of improvement, met the challenge head on, and still standing. And that's a great feat, and we are proud. So without further ado, in the bronze category, I'd like for two students to come forward and accept the awards from the pastor. That would be Dylan Crawford and Zamaria Collins. stand in front of the teachers. That's okay. We've seen them. In fact, teachers, if you like and you want to see the rest of the program, you can move back to the audience if you like. Because we are going to be putting students in front of you. Okay? Shake a hand. There you go. All right. Shake a hand and look straight into the eyes. All right. Moving on. Our next category. As those who stand over there and wait is the silver category. Silver is outstanding. It's a trade on the stock market, right? Very valuable. In our world, it is valuable as the bronze and everything else. It represents those students who are really just exceptional, have done well in their local school. Their GPAs and the averages are really up there, and they are maintaining a state of excellence. Amen. Very few can compete with them. So without further ado, our silver students this year for 2011-2012, Keith Walker, Amani Major Boone, when you hear your name, please come forward. Morgan Green. Zach, Zach John Mitch. James Knight. John A. Devine. Josiah Green. And I don't think she's here, but we're going to mention her anyway, Brianna Williams. So let's get them all in. Congratulations, our silver students. Amen. We'll give a hand for the pastor. Miss Wheaton must be dressed as a pastor. He's looking a little sharp, isn't he? Kind of flat. Come on, we can loosen up. And this is a good thing. It's a celebration. Amen. All right. How's the 
can you be in church on Friday night and having a good time with young people before you, not on this TV for the girls and crying, but the academic Thank you. Now, would you move over to your left as soon as you finish that? We're going to get a group pitch in the end. Congratulations, students. These are our civil awards. And now for the gold standard. The gold standard has no competition. The gold standard are those who are at the top, those who have excelled beyond measure, those who were able for the entire year to remain a gold standard. Superbly outdone. The grades are high, the GPA is off the chart. These are our gold standard students for the 2011-2012. Damian Evans. Jackie Packer. Mount Olive comes. Yeah. 